What's up guys, it's the girl and so how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. So today I will be going to taste some oil dung. I want you guys to see how they, they make their oil dung here in Grenada. And um, it's my first time trying it on camera guys. So you asked for cooking videos, here is one. If you're new to my channel, welcome, 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 welcome. If you haven't subscribed us yet, click that subscription button right down below and turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. Let's just take a moment to talk about my makeup though. I am feeling this makeup at this point. I am pretty excited to show you guys how this whole oil done thingy 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 goes down because I myself don't know how to make it as I would have tried but and there's a lot of work you have to put in like fig and I don't know like turkey or chicken whatever um, type of thingy thingy they put in this stuff and then kalalo and um, dumpling breadfruit I don't know what makes extra things I don't even know but I hope you guys enjoy the video Let's go. So we're about to start. We have some okra over there, pumpkin, carrots, and smoked curry. Smoked curry. You have some some chicken mm -hmm. and some pig tail and some pork ribs. Right. The ideal stuff. With coconut. What coconut is? milk with saffron. You see? You see okay. that in the top? And my seasoning, onion, sweet pepper, garlic, all my good stuff to go in it. Mm -hmm. Then I have my vegetables, string beans, carrots, okra, pumpkin, the whole works. And right. I'm going to pack my pot now, okay? Packing your pot? <laughs> I'm going to pack my pot now. Are oh, you packing your pot to what? Breadfruit. I'm putting on the breadfruit first. Okay. And I'm putting it around the pot. Around the pot. Okay, <laughs> and I have some sweet potatoes also. My sweet potato is going in the edge of the pot. Put them in the edge. So I'll leave in the middle part of the pot to put down the meat. Okay, so that's going to be your oil down. Sweet potatoes. Right, and then I'm going to put in some green bananas now. Some green bananas. So that's the last of it. Okay. Don't laugh. Right, and then I'm going to put in the meat now. Remember that pot is a little smaller. I'm going to put in the meat. It has to go in the bottom, in the middle. Okay, put in the meat in the middle. It's chicken, pork, and uh, and uh, and the, the pork ribs are already boiled, so it's already almost cooked. I got to boil out all the salt. This pot looking smaller, but don't matter, it does hold a lot. It's going to be an oil long of his base. Alright, that's it. That's the last of the meat. And then I'm throwing in my seasoning water. Nothing to throw away. Right. And then I'm going to put in my goodies. Put in some, some carrots. So basically guys, she's packing her pot. Yeah. This is called packing, packing. the pot. Packing, packing the pot. Packing. 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 Packing
packing, packing the pot. The pot. Right. Right? So yes. With all the vegetables, so when you boil long, everything is cooked. Right down. Put some pumpkin. Right. So that's it. Because this pot is only going to take these alone. Okay. I'll put these in. Okay. The bigger one. So right, that's it. I'm going to put a smoker in just like that on the top. I can't put it below because you're going to get smash. Put it right on the top. And then I'll just put so a few trick. pieces okay. here. Okay. So basically the trick to this oil burn is that you have to pack the pot properly. Properly. Pot. Properly, right. else it wouldn't come out as good, right? Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't. Okay. Trust me. It would not. There is garlic and onion and, and sweet pepper. Remember, the meat is already seasoned, so right. make it much better. That's how a pack or a long pack does look. What I'll do now, I'll pour in the coconut milk. You see the stuff, the color? Saffron. Nice thing, coconut, coconut milk. And saffron. And saffron. Okay. And I already put salt in it, so I don't have to. I see some people as. Um, what they do they sprinkle salt in the in the oil long. You can do cook oil long like that because when you sprinkle salt in it mm -hmm. like that, like you shake the, the, the bottle over, some place will get salt, some place wouldn't get, and then you could salt the pot a lot so. But if you put the salt in the coconut water, it's a lot better. It make it easier. So when you're ready, you just pour it in and you don't have to worry about salt again. Okay. You understand? And so the coconut water looking good? Not long water can be cannot be long water because you're going to spoil remember the color won't come out good you'll come out like um like a gravy broth so that's all it gotta be all right and then this one sorry about that i'm a fan so after turning angle too. So you see nice coconut water. Make sure it have enough. Right. And this one, make sure it have enough. Okay. So you see, that's enough water there. So that's how it looking nice, you see? All right guys, so. Um, so guys, as you guys heard, so all you have to do, make sure you pack the pot nicely with the, um, the bread fruit and whatever you pack around you put your chicken in the middle as you guys see everything and make sure you pack your pot nice if you want to try this at home make sure you tag me in it so that i can see you guys oil down and i think one day i should try it for myself but we'll be back with the rest so, yeah. the stove and then okay <laughs> and tell them they will see the after the after the after when it's finished cooked they will see the real oil down right but yeah, the thing about the the pot, if you don't pack it properly, you won't get a perfect a perfect fit, right? Right. So you see those pot, that one and this one is properly packed. You see everything look neat? Mm -hmm. It's well packed. So when it, when the coconut milk now when it starts to boil, when it boil now, then it boil because it's oil long, it boils down. Right? And it's supposed to make a nice thick sauce. Okay. Not gravy thick sauce okay. and don't worry we'll show you more when it's finished when we're doing the next packing with the dumpling and whatever okay okay thick <laughs> part two so just tell them pot boiling now so right so the pot is boiling and she already put some color in it so i'm gonna put in some <laughs> some, some dumplings okay and i'll show you all could hear the pot is boiling <laughs> <laughs> The good thing about it, the bad thing about it is that y'all wouldn't smell it. But right, but it smells good. 
Can you smell it? Good, of course. Yeah, I smell it. So that's, I mm. saw the seed boiling now. Right? So I'm putting in some dumplings. That's oil on for your money. <laughs> <laughs> Smelling it alone making me hungry. I'm going to hungry. Yes. So you see, we both hungry. I'm hungry. Well, then we got to start eating it raw. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So you see the dumplings going in. Nice. The dumplings are going in, taking as much as possible because once it, the color will go over it and it, it cover down. That's it. Stay right there and cook. So the more dumpling the pot to take, the better. Don't worry about sticking it won't even though they jam together they, that's all they will cook and eat. You see everything boiling down so that's good. And a lot of people, a matter of fact, a lot a lot of people like dumpling and oil long. They always say um, oil long without dumpling, that's not oil long. Dumpling brings out everything in, in, in the pot. See that? Finish. The dumpling is all gone in. So I'm going to just put some some callaloo to so just cover it up now. Cover the dumpling. So Don't worry dumpling. about how it looks. It will eventually boil down. That's callaloo. Boil down very easy. Right. So you see that? So you put some callaloo Put first, some callaloo. Then you put the dumpling. And then I put the dumpling and put some callaloo on top of it so the callaloo will be over the, over the dumpling. Gotcha. So make it look nice. And you see how this one is boiling up now? So once the callaloo go in, put some. And what I normally do sometimes when it, it boils like that, I usually, the callaloo boil long, I usually open it and put more callaloo again. So then at the end, it has a lot of callaloo on the top. Right. Enough callaloo because without without callaloo in oil long is not an oil long. <laughs> callaloo, so dumpling, chicken, chicken, pig tail, right. pork Cal ribs, um, the seasoning, okra, pumpkin, string beans, whatever. It's not and a callaloo without that. I mean, it's, it's not an oil long without that. It's not oil long with all these things. Gotcha. Make it nicer. So when you're eating, you're eating everything. So this over. Like that, so you see the steam is going to cook it. So that's it, and this one is going to cover right here. Right, you see? So basically, guys, after she's done with that, that means it's finished, right? After I'm finished with that, that's it. Right, so it's almost there. It's ready, it's almost there. Almost there, almost there. Almost. So, guys, it is finally finished. So, this is the oil dump. And this is the national dish, Grenada's national dish, oil down. I'm sure it's tasting good. So we're about to try this thing called oil down. Let's see how, how, how it tastes. So what we're doing here is we're separating the dumplings. Yeah, we have to separate the meat. And the meat and everything. Oh. And the vegetables. Just to make it easy. Just to make it easy. So when you're taking your food, you just take up in section. It doesn't matter. Mm. So that's the dumplings there. And we're separating the meat. So when I'm ready to share the food, I just know where everything is. Makes sense. You understand? That's how we have to think all along. I just pick up. We separate the sheep from the goat. Mm -hmm. try this oil down for the first time on camera as I said 
as you guys can see i got a very 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 big plate i would say so i'm gonna try and say please and what's the food nice <laughs> She said, she said, she said, she said, she said, she said, she she you saw it, everything is good? It's good. Okay. It's really nice. Yes, it is. It's good, good. I'll see you guys when I'm done, okay? Yeah. Alright guys, so I just got done eating. I'm filling my belly and all these good, good, good things. And I actually forgot to end my video. So I am on the other side of the fort, Fort Matthew. Which I will be taking you guys for a tour one of these days. But um, I'm about to end my video. So thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to my channel. Welcome, 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 welcome. If you haven't subscribed as yet, click that subscription button right down below and turn on the notification bell so that you could be notified anytime I upload a new video. I always remember to stay true to yourself because there's nobody in this world better than you. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. To tell a friend. To tell a friend. To subscribe to my channel. Until next time. Peace.